Are you ready, kids? Hola. I'm Senor Lance, one of the two Spanish teachers at Benville High School. I'm here to share with you some high school words of wisdom from the class of 2020. That's right, people. The ones who just graduated want to give you a little bit of advice. So for starters, Dear eighth graders, I know it's super scary at first. You feel like there's no way you can do it, but you can. You got this. Just be you and find the right friend groups. Enjoy high school as much as you can before it ends. Four years goes by quickly. Mind your business. Stay on track with your own goals. Do not mess up your GPA freshman year. By not taking your classes seriously, you will regret it. Make sure to stay on top of your schoolwork and have fun. Join clubs, go to the games, make memories. That's what life's all about, isn't it, people? Yes, yes it is. Brace yourselves, literally. High school isn't just the only time to make fun and memorable memories. It's also the time for you to prepare for your future. So, have fun, but don't forget to do your schoolwork, homework, study for your tests. Join extracurricular activities. Enjoy the little things because those are the things you're going to miss the most. Be nice and respect your teachers and staff. They're good people. I, Senior Lance, can vouch for that. I'm there to help you. I want you to do well, and I want to help you do well. I'm your helper and friend. Not your buddy, but somebody to help you get through and do well. Your success means my success. Never give up. Always try. Pretty clear there, isn't it? Eh. The faster you figure out that you need to settle down and work hard, the easier it will get. The faster you realize you need to do good in school, the easier the rest of the four years will be for you. It shouldn't be hard to dedicate one to two hours for homework. Then... You can go back to relaxing or playing video games or whatever. All it takes is just one to two hours and you'll be fine if you're working hard. Don't give up. Y'all got this. Try to push yourself to join. Try new things. Don't be afraid to meet new people. Branching out and meeting new people will make your high school years more memorable. If you want to succeed, then you have to worry about yourself first and others second. It's very important to stay on top of things freshman year. Your grades are important for your GPA. It will affect you most your senior year when applying to colleges. I wish I would have stayed more on top of things freshman year. Always be early or right on time for lunch. Lol. I mean, LOL. Yeah. Make sure you try your best and have fun. Hello, class of 2024. These next four years of your lives will be ripe with challenges and hopefully lots of fun. I'd like to start by asking that you at least try any activities our school offers that may interest you. We have many programs that, although are not well known, are quite fun and engaging. Some of these are robotics program, quiz bowl, drama, and a host of other clubs and competitions. I didn't join the robotics team until my junior year, and I really wish I would have started sooner. Robotics is a great opportunity to learn new skills, make new friends, and have lots of fun. There are many careers in which you can use those skills, and there are heaps of scholarships for these students. If this interests you, 
Mrs. Eckhart and Mr. Gridanis are great people to ask about robotics and any other organizations of inner high school. I also ask that you be ready for any challenges that may come your way. Sure, some of the school work is rather daunting, but trust me when I say that most of it really isn't all that bad. If you ever need help, all you need is to ask your teachers, for they are more than willing to lend a hand. Even though you might be nervous about talking to these people and asking them for help, you will find that they're actually really nice. They won't bite. I'm also going to ask that you set good goals and work to achieve them. Some of these goals may to maintain a particular grade level, or maybe to improve your social skills and make more friends, or possibly to grow your skill sets. It is also very important that you always work to further your education. Even after you graduate in four years, whether this be a four-year degree, a journeyman's card, or anything else, it's important to learn as much as you can to better yourselves. I know some people who still took classes well into their 50s so they can build their skills and their careers. Now, I'd like to ask that you have fun, learn a lot, and use your high school years to improve yourselves and others. Good luck and enjoy these next four years. Hello freshmen, this is Mrs. Eckhart. Welcome to Fenville High School. Each day we do our daily announcements here. We start with the Pledge of Allegiance and then a student will go through and read the daily announcements, filling you in on everything that's going on in the school and lots of important things that you need to know about. After that, I will read the daily words of wisdom. So I thought it would be nice as you uh, watch these videos and get ready to transition over to high school if I gave you a little sample of what the daily words of wisdom are like. So this is what it sounds like. Good morning, Fenville High School. This is Mrs. Eckhart with today's words of wisdom. The end of the school year has come and you are moving on to the next grade. Endings can be both sad and exciting. You may be sad to leave some familiar faces and surroundings, but excited to move on. It's been said that every ending is a new beginning. And that's true. Now here's what's important at this stage of your life. Stop and reflect on your experiences in school over the years. Think about your successes and consider your failures. What positive experiences can you take with you and what can you learn from your mistakes? We all make mistakes, and those mistakes come with natural consequences. But here's the deal. Any pain you suffered because of a poor choice doesn't have to be wasted as long as you accept responsibility and resolve to make wiser choices and move forward. If you do that, you can move into this next phase of your life with more confidence. And that is what each of you deserves. With something to think about, this is Mrs. Eckhart. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. So that's it. That is just one of our daily routines at Fenville High School. I'm really looking forward to working all with all of you guys. Have a great summer.